This video illustrates the importance of doing uh, an adequate occlusive coronary sinus venogram. Failure to perform an occlusive venogram resulted in unsuccessful LV lead implantation in this case. You can see uh, that contrast was injected through the sheath uh, without a balloon occlusion, without balloon occlusion, and some target veins were identified. Um, attempts were made uh, to implant a lead, um, and you'll notice that there's a vein selector in here, um, and that there was difficulty advancing the lead. Now, I think it's important to realize that you can inject contrast through the vein selector with the wire in place. And that can sometimes illust uh, can, uh, demonstrate veins that weren't seen uh, even with an adequate occlusive venogram. So it might have revealed other target vein options. But that wasn't done, and ultimately, lead implantation failed, uh, and the patient went away without a biventricular device. Uh, this time, uh, occlusive venogram with full strength contrast was done watching for retrograde filling, and that revealed a posterior lateral target vein that wasn't seen uh, on the previous non-occlusive venogram. And you can see now with the occlusive venogram and waiting for retrograde filling, you can see this proximal branch uh, that is easily demonstrated, uh, emphasize the importance of full strength contrast. Another view of it, and from here, the implant was quite easy. So the point here uh, is that one cause of LV lead implantation is uh, lack of target vein options. And an initial, uh, an inadequate initial CS venogram can result in failure to recognize easy target vein options. Full strength contrast is essential for an adequate CS venogram. Balloon occlusion is essential for an adequate CS venogram. Continuing to record images until the more proximal uh, vessels have filled completely is also essential for an adequate occlusive CS venogram. A minimum of two views is essential for an adequate occlusive CS venogram because you can be very fooled as to where the, the veins actually come off the CS. And if you're having any difficulty, I strongly recommend going to an RAO, adding an RAO view to see if the takeoff uh, is deceptive. Once the target vein is identified, selective injection of a, uh, with a vein selector before advancing the LV lead can identify additional target vein options that you don't see on an occlusive venogram uh, in case you encounter phrenic pacing or high thresholds in the vein in which you put the lead. In my opinion, if you don't follow the rules above, you do the patient a disservice by missing target vein options and having an unsuccessful implant simply by failure to identify target veins that would have been identified if, you, if the venogram had been done properly in the first place. Thank you for your interest.